Hey guys, uh, this is Ani V, and I'm going to show you guys um, something pretty cool here. So I just got this uh, keyboard, wireless uh, mini Bluetooth keyboard for um, it's for Windows, Android, iOS, whatever you want to use it for. So <clears throat> originally, I um, what I did was I I docked my iPad up there, my iPad Mini Five, and um, I uploaded the beta version of iOS 13 or iPad OS and um, so pretty much I was able to use the mouse track with it and the keyboard and so I'm going to give you a little sample of how I'm using it in my car um, it's really effective especially while I'm driving like I can just you know I'd be on the road but I can just uh, use the mouse to you know navigate myself on my iPad so anyways I'm going to show you so there's a mouse and I can uh, pretty much put the sens sensitivity up all the way so I can pretty much move across the whole screen just like I do on the on the mouse pad here um, so anyways, I can press any button and it'll unlock it. Um, I have it so I got assistive touch to help me just by pressing the right click on the mouse button. And I can technically lock the screen without having to lock it myself physically on the iPad. And um, i got all these other shortcuts. Anyways, so I use navigation and music a lot, and that's mainly why I put my iPad Mini in here. So I got these two always side by side, and um, pretty much pause. I can do anything. I can search, type with the keyboard, and uh, it works really great. I'm really happy with this uh, uh, keyboard. Um, and I'm gonna just show you really quick how I set it up. It's pretty simple. This is again, this is iOS 13 or iPad OS. I this isn't out yet. This is a beta version. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. I went into uh, settings and I went into Bluetooth. I connected my Bluetooth keyboard and then. I went to accessibility and then I went to touch and I went to assistive touch and I turned it on and then I went to devices pointer pointing devices pointer devices and I you go to Bluetooth devices and usually you find it in there you and you select it and it shows you that it's connected and then from there you know um, you can change uh, some of these settings where if you don't want the the little menu square on the on screen or on the screen the whole time this little assistive touch square you literally just turn that off and um, there you go anyways so it's pretty cool, um, usually you press on it if you want to select, you just do one touch press on the, on the touch keyboard, or if you want to scroll you literally press really quick once and hold it the second time, like this, and then you can scroll up or down. So it's pretty pretty awesome, this, this is a pretty cool uh, wireless keyboard for your car, and again like I said, you know, um, you got all these things you can do, you know, with the mouse and the remote itself. Um, you know, like right here you can pause it, or you can turn it up. Turn it down. So it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome little remote you can use with um, iPad OS when it comes out and you can literally integrate it into your car and um, and make it useful. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.
um, or you can comment or like this video. Thanks.